Hi, this is Brent with Studio One Expert and in this final video of this four part series looking at the Waves Content Creator Toolkit, we're going to be looking at the WLM Plus. So what this plugin does is it analyzes all of the audio in your door. And again, like the playlist writer, we put this on the master fader and it listens to all of the tracks that you have and it gives you a LUFS reading. And basically what this means in layman terms is it just prepares you for the volume that it should be at for different streaming services. So whereas Playlist Rider will look at all of the different incoming audio and balance them, this tells you exactly what you need to hit in order for it to comply with different sort of streaming regulations or playback regulations. So for example, if you go into load, you can click different um, presets here for different systems. So I've gone with the most common one for what people will probably be looking at right now, which is YouTube, Apple, and maybe Netflix. These are the ones here are more for post applications. So we'll We'll stick with um, YouTube and Spotify. So it says minus 14 dB LUFS. What that means is in the long term window here, you want it to be hitting around minus 14. You don't want it to go above that because that will actually breach the LUFS limit that Spotify has in place. I do believe I think you can go maybe one dB over, but I personally wouldn't tempt fate. And what we do with this plugin is we basically adjust the limit again here and we boost it or attenuate it based on what the long term is saying. So we want to have it near minus 14 dB for the application here. So you have to click reset each time and then let's let it listen to the audio and it will give us a reading. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want to use. Yeah, I agree. But also, I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills. And so, as you can see, our long term was balanced down at about minus 20 LUFS there. So we want to boost it a little bit with our true peak limiter here. And the reason for this is it needs to compete with other playlists and other um, podcasts that are on, say, the Spotify platform. Therefore, we don't want it to be too quiet. So we want to adjust the um, true peak limit here. And then what we need to do is we need to click reset and then it'll listen again and give you a new reading. There's also some extra controls down the bottom here. Um, you probably don't want to mess with these if you've picked a preset. What it does is the preset will define all of these for you. So where it says target here, you can change this, but we need it to be at minus 14 because that's what we want for Spotify and YouTube. Similarly, with the rest of all of these other presets, just leave them because they're predefined. Um, and you've got some pre-filtering here if you wanted to do any low pass and high pass. But again, I would probably just leave this expanded menu here underneath this little toggle. So let's have a listen now to once we've changed the true peak limiter. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So as we can see, it's gone up by 2 dB there. So let's just keep going. Let's say 3.5, 3.6, see if that makes a difference. Again, make sure you hit reset, otherwise it won't register. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176? And so we can see we're getting closer each time. And at the start there, there's a little tick when you're in the long-term LUFS reading. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like la so let's reset one more time and bump it up to, we might over it here, we might go too far, but let's just see what it says. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever. So as you've seen at the start there, we went over a minus 13, but that's fine because long term it registered minus 17. So we're starting to push the limiter quite far here. We could keep going further, but the problem there is we're going to then over egg one of the particular audio channels. So what we might want to do is go back and change the gain on some of the individual channels. And that way it's a little bit more balanced and the playlist writer will make up for that. And then the WLM plus will make up for that again. So let's have one final listen to see what boosting it by 6.4 dB did. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want. 
So it looks like boosting it by that amount actually almost got it to exactly where we needed it. We could actually go a little bit further, but I personally would just go back and maybe slightly adjust the gain compensation on those secondary audio channels um, and then reset the WLM plus and just see how everything looks on the long-term LUFS meter. So hope you found this useful. In summary, this plugin will be the final stage of registering your overall levels of everything that you've done using the Waves Content Creator Toolkit.